Hey, I'm Tom. I'm a senior here at Gloucester High School, a PR officer for the music department, and now I'm the host of the GHS podcast, Fisherman Fridays. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fisherman Fridays, the only show on the internet about anything and everything GHS. I'm your host, Tom, and today I'm joined by co-hosts Martina Gallo, Owen Hardy, and Mr. Fleury. Guys, it's 2021. How's it been going for you so far? Oh, my God. Right into it. <laughs> All these two weeks. Yeah, the, the whole both of them. Both of the weeks. <laughs> I would say coming back from, man, I don't know about anyone else, the end of 2021 was during holiday break. Mm. Holiday break was great. Mm -hmm. It went oh, it slowly. Was. I got sleep. Very low, oh. low pressure. Low yeah. pressure, low key. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. I got into, into, by all means, it should be considered an unhealthy sleep routine. <laughs> but um, I start going to bed at like 4 or 5 a.m. and waking up at like 3 in the afternoon. And it sounds terrible, and it is, but that's literally, it's the best sleep I get when I sleep like that. I wake up like ready to go. I think it's just you're like, like wicked tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't do know. what you gotta do, I guess. Well, like, I've always woken up, like, even if I sleep long or not long enough, I always wake up feeling tired when I wake up in the day. But, like, I guess when I wake up when the sun's setting, it's just fine. So. Maybe I should try it. Yeah, well, I yeah. Try that. Yeah, you should become nocturnal. Potential schedule. Mm. The ideal society would be nocturnal, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, but, you my, know. my schedule is definitely messed up. For, in terms of sleeping, because I was binging some shows, um, and I have a TV in my room now, so I was just like up all night. <laughs> and now we're back Problem. to school. <laughs> yeah, gotta yeah, love man. it. GHS. So it is 2021. It hasn't been that long into this new year, into this hopefully better year. Uh, but I, I think it's not really a secret to say that 2020 wasn't exactly the best, but. I'm interested to hear from you guys uh, the good and the bad. Like, what probably what was uh, the worst for you is probably going to be more <laughs> prominent, but <laughs> hopefully there's some good things too. So, how about that? Um, I can start. I will start with the bad, as mm. you said. I definitely say that not being able to see family was Oof. definitely a major downside this year totally agree. for yes. everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, as much as we all wanted to be together, we had to make that decision and be smart to know not to do that, so that we can do it in the future. So hopefully this year we'll bring more family gatherings of more people. And then for a positive, I say obviously the pandemic was very stressful for everybody. But I think the first few months of quarantine, like March, April, and May when we were doing online school was actually sort of relaxing for me because online school was less demanding. So it gave me a chance to get more sleep and have more downtime and that was definitely appreciated. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, online. Online school was fascinating. <laughs> it, because I, I mean, like for me, I'm, you guys are learning at home. I was teaching at home. I live alone, and to be teaching in my living room, and that like get up, teach, like twenty feet away from where I sleep, was wild. Yeah, it was so strange. Yeah. And, like, Teaching with shorts on or something like that. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Perot who does that anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Every day. But yeah, and not being able to come into the building and even like focus up in our place of work. Yeah, it's and definitely school. harder to get into school mode from home. <sighs> so tough. So yeah. tough. But I definitely understand. Like yeah, the sense of pressure. I imagine from from your side is definitely less. Yes. That's that must have been that must have been sure. pretty cool. There was less work too. Because it was just like everyone was trying to figure out like how oh, yeah. to do this. Yeah. Um, still so are. Was, yeah. I, <laughs> Happy I'm 2021. Still figuring it out. <laughs> We're still figuring it out. Yeah. But um, it was definitely like hard to get into at first because it was completely opposite from what we've been doing like mm. in past years and everything. But um, I have to agree, it wasn't that bad. It was kind of relaxing just to sure. know that you had like. You can do stuff on your own time, mm. but I also understand how it was. It could have been stressful for some people, not having a strict schedule and everything. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm pretty confident in saying that 2020 was probably the hardest year of my life, and I'm sure for many others that's true too. Mm. Um, 
definitely those first few months uh, were, were nice, uh, but after a while, I found myself missing just, like, uh, just social norms and e even missing yeah. people that I didn't think I would, like, like mm -hmm. classmates that you'd only share, like, small conversations with, like, mm -hmm. passing conversation. Like me, even though you hate me. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate you, but I did miss you. I know. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, I just found myself missing, like, the stuff that I honestly, like, took for granted. Like, I... I didn't realize how much or how important uh, just <laughs> interacting with people was, oh, and I man. like I know that there's some people so out true. there who are thriving right now. Uh, the people who don't like to in interact with other people. So to you, mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'm I'm glad that you are finding such joy in such. Uh, I think we all have some of that too. Like we yeah. all have those times where we just need to get away from people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, like, but too, too much, much too much <laughs> drives you insane. So yeah. I ima I imagine like those so. On Martina's birthday of March thirteenth, when oh my god, when the yeah. cursed day. When, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was your that's birthday. Yeah. Got out. That's oh. my birthday. I imagine for those last couple weeks of March, everyone was like, "Oh, yeah. man, we're watching the pandemic happen, which is scary." But you know, to be out of school was probably very relaxing. Yeah, we didn't then, have online. Didn't we have like a week? We had, yeah, two, we had, we had two, two weeks. Two, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, a couple exactly. of weeks where we didn't have like, hey, anything. This is kind of best nice. birthday present. Yeah, right, and then <laughs> as as April started to set in the reality of, oh, yep. I can't go and see my friends or I can't see my family in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. yep. That started, like, I, really and awesome. I, you know, for me, I'm, I, like I, I went for a walk with a buddy once a week and that was my human interaction. Which for so the you week. go from seeing like other students than every single day. I was gonna day, say, other then... than seeing you guys yeah. on, on Google Meets and Zooms and whatnot, I'm like, Okay. Crazy. I, yeah. I could use a hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like it's solitude to a point is amazing, but eventually yeah. I imagine most of us need a little bit of human interaction. I think midway through April it was kinda like, all right, yeah. this is too much. It's yeah. longest yeah. month ever. I yeah. thank longest God for ever. um my job. I yeah. For real. For those of you at home, uh over the summer I work at a summer camp in Gloucester and um we, we took so many precautions to make sure it was safe. I was so certain that we weren't going to do it. Um, just because, you know, the kids and like the virus had just in my it's mind, it wasn't a good, anymore. it wasn't a good combo, but we like, uh, Camp Sprinter is the name of the camp. Props to you guys. Uh, cause they, they actually did like a, an excellent job keeping it safe. And, um, like, you know, pe some people say like you're working with kids is difficult and they're definitely not wrong. Definitely um, difficult. but <laughs> like something about just like the innocence of how the kids like they didn't fully understand what was going on right. and i it was my job to kind of make their days better make take their minds off the horrible things going on in the world it was a lot of pressure but it made me it definitely it those few months over the summer were definitely the best uh part of 2020 for me because it just it took me out of it it made me feel uh a little bit better about the circumstances it made me see kind of uh, the highlights of it. And um, I, I noticed like slowly, sir, sure, some people, um, they <laughs> definitely became worse, uh, worse people over uh, <laughs> quarantine. I have even lost a few friendships over quarantine, but mm. other people, yeah. um, other people uh, became nicer. It seems like it kind of united people together yeah. that we were all going through this common hell. And um, <laughs> that one, one of the Good funniest stories of 2020 that I have, I was up in uh, Maine uh, with a, a buddy of mine, he's a sophomore in college. He goes to Springfield, um, and we were we were together. It was the first time that I had seen him since everything had started. And um, I went to it was up at this campground, and I went to the bathhouse to wash my hands. Or, I don't know, whatever. And I went in, and um, this elderly woman walks in, and obviously uh, my immediate instinct was, why are you in the men's bathroom? But then I realized <laughs> she's there to clean because they have to clean everything constantly, mm. uh, which was just like how it is at Spindrift. Um, so I related to that, and I, I ended up striking up a conversation with this woman for like 10, 20 minutes, just standing in the bathhouse, talking to her. Um, and she was really nice, really understanding. And it was just like, I, I honestly haven't had that many interactions with a stranger that have gone that way Especially until this. recently. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. It was really surprising. <laughs> the, uh, my favorite part of the story is I had this long conversation with this really nice woman about like the shutdown and everything. Then I go outside and remember my friend has been waiting for me <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> hey, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Also kind of just building off that, like you said, some few people might have, you know, gotten meaner or whatever but I think that for the most part people were more understanding people mm -hmm. were nicer and 
I found that once I was able to see my friends again, obviously socially distant and whatnot, I mm. kind of appreciated people more. Mm. And sure. just being able to socialize a little bit became, you know, it kind of occurred to me how important that is. Right. I agree. Yeah. Despite what the media has been reporting for the last few months, I, I would I choose to believe that the majority of people are respectful and everything. And pe yeah, people have gotten nicer about our circumstances. Man, mm -hmm. listening to, so I listen to a morning show, morning radio show up in New Hampshire, and one of the people on it <coughs> helped one of the local news stations do uh, uh, kind of a, a telethon fundraiser for the New Hampshire Food Bank, and they raised, shoot, I think it was like almost $2 million. It was ridiculous. Wow. Like, it was an immense amount of money. I mean, New Hampshire's not a huge place, so to put together that kind of money for the New Hampshire Food Bank was amazing. Mm -hmm. So seeing that kind of generosity. human spirit and generosity yeah. during 2020, during the pandemic, was sure. just beautiful. One of the Gives few things hope. that kept yeah. us going. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Positivity. The main Positivity. thing. Positivity. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're here for. It was definitely really um, important, though, to have your own little bubble of friends. I mm. mean, like, I know um, it was very important to stay socially distanced and everything. Um, but having just a couple of friends that you can go for a walk with or like in the summer go to the beach or do something outside. I know I did a lot outside, even in the winter, like a lot of bonfires and everything. Um, and it keeps you sane having just a couple people to <sighs> see and everything. Cause you know, seeing like my family every day, as much as I love my family, it was just, it was a lot, you know? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think being cooped up in a house, because I, I feel like the, my friends telling me stories about just like getting into arguments with their parents, um, it definitely yeah. spiked a little <laughs> during quarantine, and like I'm, I'm guilty that. of it too. And I think that's just human nature. You're going to be put into a, a room with people, uh, or just a, for a months confined at space a for months at a time. You're going to oh get God. on each other's nerves. Uh, but, you know, we all came out of it together. We right. all came out of it stronger, and I feel like that's what's really important. I, I tend to hear, I hear that a lot from friends with families, and it was kind of like uh, the grass is always greener situation because mm. I, I looked at that as a person who lives alone. I was like, man, I would love human interaction when I know that people that live with families were like, man, I would love to be alone right now. Yeah. So it's like the, it really the best of it. it makes you understand the balance mm -hmm. of quote unquote normal life. Yeah. yeah. So here's here's to returning to that sometime <laughs> soon. But I mean, hey, on the bright side, it is 2021 now, so yeah. we've made it Woo! out. It's uh, over. COVID's it's over. over. It's canceled. It's done. It's 2021. No more COVID. Yeah, no more COVID. No more. No more of the problems that we had in uh, 2020. Only. Yeah. Oh my God. So first two weeks, so much has already happened. Yeah, yeah, a bit too much in my opinion. I don't yeah. want to get too much into Ooh. what's happened. I think everyone knows what's gone down in the first two weeks. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, I'm not but, a major fan of living through like significant. Yeah, yeah. Events. There's this yeah. one meme. It's if a, I can it's find it. It's a lot it. to take yeah. in. <laughs> there's a one meme that I really relate to. If I can find it, I'll put it up on screen. And it just says, yeah. um, "Damn, I really don't want to be living through major yeah. historical it's events just, anymore." <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, I agree. Fair enough. Um, but so uh, over over vacation, obviously we had um, we had New Year's Eve, which has spawned this new year, 2021. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. do you guys have any major plans for 2021? Hopes? Uh, any uh, New Year's resolutions? Anything That's of that sort? That's such a good question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't even thought about it much. I mean, I, I'm taking one thing from 2020 and evolving it in 2021. So, in my solitude of 2020. Uh, because I mean, for anyone in the arts, like the pandemic just destroyed everything. For the mm -hmm. for us here yeah. at school, like obviously every concert, every trip we had planned, done. So there was nothing to like light the fire of creativity during that time. So I, I, I knew I found something because I needed something to like make me play or sing or do something. Uh, so I found this app called Acapella, and it's like this multi-track recording app. Mm -hmm. And I started oh, yeah. just like recording some of my favorite uh, jazz trumpet big band st uh, sections, uh, just some older stuff, some newer stuff. And I, I started, I kind of like named it, called Snow and Stereo. It's like me, but multiple me's. 
in a window <laughs> and playing. Flurries. It's kind of like yeah. the podcast. So I, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, so like what you're looking at, just picture four of me. You, you gotta, but playing Tom, you gotta edit that. Multiply, put, yeah. put Flurry four times. Four just, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just make <laughs> it exclusively edit. him. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, like this fall, I was in, uh, uh, in preparation for our GEF grant that we received. Shout out to the Gloucester Education Foundation yeah, for all some you. great Woo-hoo. technology and equipment for making this happen, by the way. Uh, mm-hmm. I started using Adobe Premiere Pro and... And stuff and stuff like that to make my own videos and now I'm starting a YouTube channel in 2021. Oh, nice! Called Flurry Studios. Nice. Feel free there to subscribe go. if it's up by now. It should be up in a couple weeks. There's a link right here. So, <laughs> maybe <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> if it's there, it'll be there. If it's here, it's here. Cross if it won't, I'll put a funny photo there instead. <laughs> so Wait, yeah, did I'm you doing call some. It Flurry Studios. My the YouTube channel is called Flurry Studios. The the segment is going to be called Snow and Stereo, mm. and I yeah it's. It's really fun. Like a friend of mine is helping me with the production. Another friend of mine wrote a theme song for me. It's oh, perfect. Ooh. Yeah, it's like really fun. So that's one of those projects that I'm looking forward to. I'm um, looking forward to it. Thanks. Hey everybody, Tom here. If you enjoyed this somewhat shorter episode of Fisherman Fridays, be sure to go like, comment, and subscribe so we know to keep doing what we're doing. We got big plans for future episodes when it comes to guests, fisherman foods, and even some Q&As, so stick around. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.